can you talk about the, the pride flag? Um, has a decision been made on whether the pride flag can be um, displayed at uh, DOD uh, facilities? Um, I understand that it was under review, and can you explain how it came to be under review? Yeah, the, um, after some careful consideration, uh, uh, the department will, uh, uh, will maintain the existing policy uh, from July of 2020 regarding, un uh, regarding the display or depiction of unofficial flags. So there won't be an exception made uh, this month for the pride flag. Um, uh, and as for how it came, it, I, I don't want to mischaracterize this and say there was some sort of formal review, but obviously uh, knowing that the month of June was, uh, was approaching, uh, we wanted to do due diligence and take a look and 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 um, and to take a look at the the old policy and and see if uh, um, if we felt it was still applicable and still needed to be applicable. I would stress only two more things uh, in, in answer to your question. One, that this in no way reflects any lack of respect or admiration for people of the LGBTQ uh, uh, plus uh, community. Uh, personnel in and out of uniform who serve in this department. We're, we're proud of them. I mentioned that uh, uh, on Monday, that the Secretary's pride and respect and admiration for the service that they render the country. This was really more about um, um, uh, the, the potential for, uh, if you make an, an exception in this case, about the potential for other challenges uh, uh, that, that could arise from, from that exception, uh, that specific exception, and it was a, uh, and it was really about that uh, than anything else. It's certainly not a, a statement of, uh, of anything other than the fact that uh, full respect and admiration for that service. And one more. Um, uh, the White House has issued a statement um, acknowledging or, or rescinding the order that Greenland fall under U.S. Northern commands. Mm -hmm.